Hello everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video I thought I could go over 10 more strange behaviors that you might see from your rats that are pretty normal. So if you haven't seen my first video on this, I went over 10 other behaviors in that video, and I think those would be considered the more common ones. In this video I'm going to go for some of the funnier things you can see your rats do, but they're a little less common. And if you want to check out the other video, I will have a link in the description below. Okay, so the first behavior I want to go over is one of my personal favorites, and it's it's tail wagging so sometimes you'll see your rat go and wag their tail and it looks so freaking adorable but it's kind of similar to a dog and that it can have many different meanings when a rat waves their tail it can be because they're happy and content or it can be because they're nervous or afraid or even feeling threatened by another rat now I've actually seen this behavior several times in rats who are feeling threatened by a strange rat outside their cage however I've only seen one instance of a rat who waves her tail in many different situations and that would be my rat cookie and she will wave her tail when she's super happy about being petted, she'll wave it when she's annoyed at cream, she'll just wave it in so many different situations, it seems to be indicating some sort of strong emotion for her, and it's just so cute. The next behavior I want to go over is what I call scanning, and this is when your rat sways their head back and forth, then back and forth. And the reason they do this is because they're trying to focus on something. Now rats have pretty poor eyesight in general, I mean, it's definitely not one of their strong suits. And if you have a rat with pink or ruby eyes, they have even worse vision than their black eyed companions. And because of this, it's pretty common to see pink or ruby eyed rats swaying to try and focus on something in front of them. Now on the other hand, you can find pink and ruby eyed rats who don't sway. For example, my rat Biscuit has pink eyes and she doesn't sway, but in the past I have had a pink eyed fawn girl who did sway and her name was Sonic. You can also have black eyed rats who sway, however like I said before this is less common than pink eyed or ruby eyed rats simply because the pink and ruby eyed rats have worse vision than their black eyed cage mates. So this is not a behavior you have to worry about. I know a lot of times if you're a new owner and you're seeing this for the first time, it's easy to jump to the conclusion that it might be something neurological or something like a seizure, but I can tell you it's definitely nothing like that. If your rat is swaying back and forth and staring in front of them, chances are they're just trying to focus and figure out what's going on. So the next behavior I wanna go over is hoarding food. So you've probably seen this at some point if you've owned rats because, well, rats are pretty notorious for it. And this is basically when they go to their food bowl or whatever, and they'll take a bunch of food in their mouth and they'll go and they'll carry it to some other place. Now sometimes people will see this and they'll assume that one rat is feeling deprived of food or they're trying to hide it from their cage mates, but in reality it's just an instinct for them. They instinctually want to hide their food and bury it so they can find it later and eat. Now I know some people worry that if their rat hoards their food and then hides it they won't be able to find it and eat it. And this isn't the case because rats have very powerful noses. They can definitely smell out any sort of food they've hidden. This is a completely normal behavior and just something that every rat is going to do at some point in their life. So the next thing I want to go over is kind of related and it's what I call food stealing. And food stealing is basically when you have a rat that goes up to another rat who's eating something, picks the food out of their mouth, and then runs away with it to eat it themselves. So sometimes people see this and they worry that the rat who is stealing the food is trying to bully the other rat or starve them or something like that. And this isn't the case. Rats are just kind of like siblings to be honest. I mean, they're always wanting what the other rat has. This is nothing to worry about again. It's just rats being rats. As long as your rats aren't scared of each other, chances are the rat who got stolen from is just going to go over to the food dish and get more food. So the next thing I want to go over is new home sneezes. Now new home sneezes are when you get new rats and they basically sneeze for a few days to a week or so. This can be kind of concerning, especially if you're new to rats, because, well, they have very delicate respiratory systems and they can go downhill really quickly. However, that being said, new home sneezes aren't actually dangerous. They're just the rat's respiratory system adjusting to the new environment they're in, maybe new bedding, new food, all sorts of stuff like that. So I know it's kind of concerning to hear them sneezing, but if your rat isn't showing other signs of illness and you've only had them for a few days, chances are it's just new home sneezes and it's okay to wait a little bit to see if they go away on their own. So the next thing I want to go over is when you see your rat sleeping in a puffed up state. 
So if you've had a sick rat before, you probably know that one of their default sick appearances is having puffed up fur, and this is called piloerection. Anyways, if you see a rat sleeping with puffed up fur, it's pretty easy to get concerned and worried that they're sick, but most of the time if they're sleeping like this and they don't have any other issues going on, it's just them being a little bit cold and so they puff out their fur to keep warm. So yeah, I know this can be very concerning to see, but it's really nothing to worry about, especially if your rat is acting normal otherwise. So the next thing I want to go over is honestly related to this, and this is what I call potato sleep. So this isn't really something most people worry about, but it's really one of the cutest behaviors ever, so I wanted to share it here. And it's basically when your rat sleeps all bunched up like a little potato. They'll put their little head between their legs and they'll just sleep like a little ball. It's just so cute. And I just love when they do this. And most of the time, it seems to just be something that certain rats do. Not all of my rats will do the potato rat sleep position, but some of them definitely do. For example, my current rats, Cookie loves to sleep in this hilarious potato position, especially if she's sleeping on her own. And of my new baby rats, Oreo also loves to sleep like this, and it's just such a cute position. So yeah, I know this isn't really a behavior people worry about, but it's definitely one of the cutest things out there if you see it. So the next thing I wanna go over is biting or nipping socks or bandages. So sometimes when you get rats and you put on socks or bandages for the first time, you're going to notice that they kind of zero in on them to bite. For some reason, whenever rats seem to see different surfaces or which are uneven or rough, so this can be like dry skin on you or a bandage on you or a sock on you, they just get kind of upset and they immediately want to get rid of it. And then there's also the fact that socks cover your feet and bandages cover your hands. So the rats might not even know that you are under the bandage or sock. So when they bite those things, try not to take it personally. You can definitely discourage it by eeping and pushing the rat away. I know that all of my current girls did go after bandages and socks at some point. However, they did get over it after a few times of me pushing them away and eeping. Because honestly, rats don't want to hurt you. So if you tell them that it's hurting you, they're probably going to back off. So the next thing I want to go over is peeing on each other. And I know this is a kind of gross behavior, but it's definitely something you might see with your rats. I know that I've definitely had a few rats who like to pee on certain cage mates more than others. And when this happens, really all you can do is clean up the rat who gets peed on. I mean, usually they'll groom it off themselves, but you can definitely give them a bath if they stink. But yeah, for the most part, I think this happens because, well, rats are kind of hierarchical creatures and they have a certain hierarchy. So the rats at the top kind of get the privilege of beating up or peeing on the rats who are a little bit lower down. So yeah, it's nothing to be concerned about and it's just a kind of gross behavior that you can't really discourage, but you can definitely clean up the poor rat who has to be peed on. So the final thing I wanna go over, and honestly, this is one of my favorite behaviors, is play. So if you tickle your rats and you see them run away, sometimes people fear that it's like scaring them off, but most of the time when your rat runs away after you tickle them like really, really fast and then comes back, that just means that they really enjoy it and they wanna play more. So I just added this here again because it's a super cute behavior and I know that sometimes people wonder how they can play with their rats, especially physically like that. I mean, we're so much larger than them that it's easy to be afraid that you might hurt them. However, rats are pretty durable and they really do enjoy this kind of rough play. I mean, not all of them do, but especially Especially younger rats often do enjoy a good hand wrestle, so it's definitely something you can try with your rats. And if you see them running off and coming back, that just means that they're happy and enjoying themselves and they want to continue. It's not them being scared or anything, it's just them reacting because they're so freaking excited they have to run and come back and run and come back. It's just a really cute behavior. Okay, so that's really all I have for you in this video, and I hope it was helpful to anyone trying to figure out what the heck their rats are doing. Again, if you didn't see the behavior you were looking for in this video, I suggest you check out my first video on 10 weird rat behaviors because in that video I really went over the more common stuff like porphyrin and brooksing and boggling and all sorts of stuff that you're more likely to see when you first get rats. So yeah, if you want to check that out, you can do so by clicking on the link in the description below. If you guys would like any more rat care tips or rat trick training tips, feel free to visit my website at www.rattricks.weebly.com, link in the description. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. Bye!